Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video and to another haul. This is insane and this haul is going to be insane, I can promise you. So if you're new here, if you like luxury products, if you like perfumes, if you like beauty, if you like fashion, skincare and all that jazz guys, don't forget to subscribe and also please follow me on Instagram because I'm really trying with those poses. Okay, <laughs> okay guys, so I have niche haul prepared for you today. Uh, so yeah, I, I splurged. I splurged a lot and they were all waiting for me in Poland for around a month, some even more. So I'm super, super excited to open them with you. Uh, the only thing I did, I, I, I sniffed them once, okay? <laughs> But that's it, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. And uh, speaking of luxury and speaking of beautiful things, I also want to talk about another thing that I got. Uh, you always, always, always ask me about my jewelry, where I get it from. And here I have an amazing, an amazing bling bling for you, okay? This bling bling, is like no other bling bling. So I have some Italo jewelry. So this is how the packaging looks like. Absolutely stunning. So so pretty. They really really you know take their time to get the best quality that you deserve even with the packaging which I really really love. I love those you know nice touches to the products. But um, I ordered two bracelets and one is still in the box and one I'm wearing right now with my whole stack. So this is how it looks like. I will insert the clips and screenshots for you because the lighting might be a little bit deceiving. But anyways, so this is how it looks inside and what you get with it is a full on certificates shebang. Uh, so you get one year warranty and 60 days for return, which is amazing. So you know, if anything touch wood would happen to your jewelry, you can still um, replace it, return it, all that jazz. So yeah, uh, here you have the certificate of the authenticity and also all you need to know about the materials. Uh, most of their jewelry is um, crafted with sterling silver, so it's very, very durable. And they, I must say, I've been eyeing them for, I think, even two years, really. I discovered them almost two years ago, maybe even more. And I was like so obsessed with how their zirconias look. They literally look like real diamonds, guys. Like no joke, in real life and on pictures, of course, they look like real diamonds. I am over the moon. So here is how the packaging looks like. You get all the certificates, as I said, uh, and all your warranties. So, you know, this is like very, very, very serious when it comes to your jewelry. I absolutely love it. So the packaging inside, you of course get another traveling pouch and this is the box, guys. It sits in a nice bed. I am just obsessed. I am so happy. I finally have it. You have no idea. And I know so many of you love my style, especially my jewelry, which I'm so happy. And I know you're gonna love this too. So here is how they come to you. Very, very sophisticated and bougie packaging. I absolutely love it. So this is the bracelet that I got. And this is another tennis bracelet that I have on my hand. So yeah, just, just fantastic guys. Absolutely fantastic. So I've been wanting a tennis bracelet for the longest time. And I'll be honest, I cannot afford real diamonds at the moment just yet. So Italo is the best solution for you if you want highest quality products that won't budge that look amazing and they really really do look like real diamonds and even Kris Jenner would not see difference you know so that's just fantastic and they shine 
they are just so beautiful and I must say that I have never ever seen such clever clasps the the you know the closures as you can see here um, the closure is completely hidden so however your bracelet turns on your wrist you can't see the closure and this was so important to me because I absolutely hate when you can see the closure of the necklace or the bracelet so yeah um, nothing annoying here it looks absolutely beautiful I love it I really really love it and I finally have tennis bracelets that won't break the bank and yeah as I said they have an amazing quality and their website is to die for guys if I could I would have everything <laughs> literally everything they have amazing earrings they have amazing amazing necklaces that I crave so much as well so yeah guys you have to check them out of course I have a discount code for you I'll link it down below and all the links to the products I'm mentioning I'll link below as well and also what you have to know no matter where you live you have free shipping which is absolutely bomb because I hate paying for shipping I'll be honest so yeah no matter what you buy you have free shipping worldwide so that's fantastic yeah, I absolutely love them guys, really, really, I'm so, 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 so happy I got them, so, so happy. So yeah, that's that. That's when it comes to jewellery, I am very much obsessed with my new stack because I was really, really missing something diamondy and blingy, you know what I mean? Because I usually wear gold, but I really like to mix it with diamantes, and now I have it, so... That's fantastic, check them out. It's absolutely lovely, I love them so much. Okay guys, now onto the haul, cause you don't die when you see it. I had to take a sip. Okay, um, should I start with something I don't like or something I love? There is one thing I don't like, like a massive fail for me. So maybe I'll start with this one. So guys, this has been hyped all over fragrance community for the longest time way before i started youtube um i was never really that interested in that fragrance um but when it comes to the notes it seemed like it's gonna be so me and the bottle is stunning so i'm so disappointed guys so disappointed that is mikalev elang in gold like, of course, the bottle is absolutely beautiful, like, it's made of crystals, uh, you know, the gold shebang inside is just fantastic, but, but, <sighs> on me it smells terrible, on me it just smells absolutely terrible, uh, on my mom it smells great, um, it gets into that lovely creamy, Ilang Ilang, sweet fragrance, a little bit milky. On me, on me it's terrible. Just terrible. And I don't even know what it is, you know what I mean? Um, it kind of reminds me of something my mother used to wear when I was little. So that's the first punch. Okay, sometimes it smells okay, sometimes it smells absolutely terrible. Um, it has, it's kind of like you mix Guerlain Sansara with um, Lalique Soleil, if it makes any sense. And on me, this concoction is absolutely terrible. I am so, so, so unhappy with this fragrance. Um, the only thing that's good is that my mom is happy with it because on her it smells amazing. So she don't get it, uh, but you know. Uh, so here we have a geranium, and I think this is the thing that really, really bothers me. Even though I'm not that, you know, offended with geranium most of the time, in here is a no-no. Uh, of course, we have ylang ylang, uh, rose, coconut, vanilla. I get absolutely no, no coconutty goodness at all. Um, oh, there's also oak mask, oak mask, 
No. No. I don't know, guys, but um, it, it either smells on me very, like, spicy, but in a bad way. And then, if it doesn't smell, like, spicy weird, it smells soapy. Too soapy. And I don't like soapy. So, I'm very, very disappointed with this one. All I can do in my house is decorate the counter, but I think that would be a waste. So, I'm just gonna give it to my mom because... It's a bummer. It's a bummer. Okay, now onto the good ones. Guys, I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So, uh, I don't know how long ago it was, but I think two months ago, I posted on community that um, on Polish Lancome's website, there's a massive discount, like 50% for um, their Maison Lancome fragrances. So, of course, I made my mom purchase them for me. And I got Oud Bouquet and Jasmine's Marzipan. So, let's start with the elephant in the room, Oud Bouquet, because I'm sure you want to know my opinion as I finally had the full bottle. I used to have decans, but I never had the full bottle. You know, I had Shahaf Oud from Swiss Arabian, and they are quite similar. So, you know, I didn't see the point of splurging so much on a perfume that I have a similar one to, if you know what I mean. But I finally have it. I couldn't resist. And I must say, in all honesty, it is definitely, to me, to me, it is definitely better than Swiss Arabian. I am absolutely obsessed with it, guys. Absolutely obsessed. And I must be completely honest with you. If you want me to do a full comparison betwe between this one and Swiss Arabian Shahaf Ur, which I've been raving about, please let me know. I'll be happy to do so. But I'm just briefly going to say that, in all honesty, I do prefer Ur Bouquet. It is just more pleasant to wear. Uh, it's more woody on my skin, which I also prefer. It's not as sweet as Shahaf Oud and also it does not have that um, sharp, a little bit of a burnt plastic kind of note that synthetic Oud in Shahaf can have, unfortunately. It happens to most synthetic Ouds um, and I really, really am sensitive to that particular um, problem. <laughs> so this one doesn't do that at all. It's very smooth on the skin. Uh, you know, the DNA is very similar, but this is the original. And I don't even want to spray it because once I spray it, I will not be able to take it off. And I still want to try other perfumes that I have here. So yeah, but ugh, this is so good, guys. If you ever find it on discount, just get it. Just, just blindly get it if you like rose oud combinations because this one is honestly one of the best ones i really really love it love 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 it, love it. and uh this one was a blind buy jasmine's marzipan uh and i'm really happy with it i'm really really happy with it um it's definitely not marzipan at all uh but it is a sweet jasmine um on my skin it kind of has though has those animalic whiffs of jasmine from time to time, especially in the very beginning. Um, it's definitely a little bit of a sharper jasmine in the beginning, uh, but as it dries down, it's so beautiful, so so beautiful. If you like jasmine, you have to have it in your collection. But it, this is really for jasmine lovers. If you don't like jasmine, you're gonna hate it. It's beautiful. It's definitely on that white floral side. There's nothing too much to it, if I'm being very honest. It's just pretty. It's feminine. It's very much of a jasmine scent. Uh, it's quite sweet. A little bit oriental. Um, I would say this is gonna be a very good mixing scent, you know, uh, you can mix it with uh, an oud, you can mix it with a vanilla fragrance, I think it's gonna work very very well. So I'm very excited to play with it and let you know a little bit later what I really think of it, but so far absolutely good. Okay, next one. 
Um, speaking of white florals, I have my dream come true finally in my hands. And my beautiful friend Iman from Moon Perfumes, uh, she's been raving about this. And um, this is Love Tuberose by Amouage. This is actually my first Amouage in my collection, but I'm definitely getting more. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not that into their smoky, spicy fragrances. I'm not there yet, and I don't know if I'll ever be. But things like this, or reflection, or portrayal, I'm into. So, Love Tuberose, of course, the beautiful packaging and the bed. Uh, this is for tuberose lovers, obviously, but this is a very sweet take on a tuberose. Um, this is with whipped cream, it has vanilla, so you know, you have those a little bit of gourmand touches to it, with that tuberose veil all over the top. Very, very nice fragrance, I must say. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a typical amouage, because again, it's not as, um, you know, crazy and spicy and smoky, but this is probably why I love it, because, you know, those other amouages, they're not always a thing. We don't vibe, but I vibe with this one. So, I love it, and I'll be testing it out more, but um, as far as I have tested it already, the longevity is fantastic. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but on me, the longevity is very, very good. Okay, now I have more of a fruity floral and I've been really, really craving this fragrance. In fact, I want to have the whole line and this is my goal for the next few months. So get ready because I am getting the whole line of Parfums de Mali. And my next one is Cassili. And guys, I'll be completely honest, this really, really... Um, I don't want to say it beats the Lina, but it's really, really close to me. In meaning, like, they're not similar, but, you know, in the ranking of mine, they're very close. And this one is definitely more fruity. It's not powdery on me almost at all. I know on some people it, it leans a little bit powdery. So here you have um, red currant, uh, Bulgarian rose, you have Petalia, same as in Delina, um, Mimosa, and of course you have Plum and um, Frangipani, if I'm not mistaken, and Tonka and Vanilla, and Sandalwood. So the dry down is definitely my gem. If I see in the dry down of perfume Tonka, Vanilla, Sandalwood, I'm sold. I'm sold, guys. So with Cassili, this is another very happy scent. I would say it's not as sexy as the Lina. It's happier than the Lina, even happier than the Lina. That's how I would describe it. Because of those beautiful fruity notes, the plum is quite, quite prominent on me. Oh, it smells so good, guys. So, so good. I do get mimosa as well. And fun fact, when I was little and I've been traveling, to hot climate countries with my parents, I was for some reason always so obsessed with Mimosa's tree. So obsessed, because if you don't know, the flowers uh, and the uh, leaves close when you touch it. It's like a very shy tree and shy flowers. Very, very interesting to me. I don't know why, I was, I've been always drawn to that plant. And here we have very prominent mimosa, beautifully blended. Um, if you love more fruity fragrances, you're gonna love it. If you love vanilla, you're still gonna love it. And um, it is a little bit floral, but not too much. I think this is one of the most sophisticated fruity fragrances ever made. Ever made. Lovely scent. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't really know the longevity just yet. I need to test it more. Okay, can we do another Parfums de Marley, please? <laughs> I got Herod, and I must say, I really like it. I really, really like it. Um, straight out of the bat, guys, and I don't know why nobody 
um, says that. But to me, this is basically, Herod is basically a mixture of Tom Ford, Tabacco Vanille and few drops of Lost Cherry. This is what Herod is. And thanks to that, I definitely do not need to repurchase Tabacco Vanille. Uh, even though my boyfriend loves it and he might get it for himself again. I think we'll be good with this one because I got 125 mil, so we'll be fine for a while. And to me, what sells me onto this one instead of Tabacco Vanille is that cherry note. It doesn't have cherry in it per se. I don't know, maybe they used a cherry flavored tobacco. I, I don't know where that cherry note comes from, but on me it is so, so prominent, guys. So prominent, that cherry note. What I mainly get from it is a little bit of spiciness. Definitely there is some spiciness. But uh, other than that, I get like a very dense, sticky cherry liquor that you have in Lost Cherry and tobacco and vanilla. Uh, it is unisex, but um, I wouldn't say it leans masculine like many people say. To me, it's like very, very in a neutral ground, you know? I wouldn't say it leans more feminine or more masculine. There are whiffs in this fragrance that are a little bit more masculine-ish, and then there are whiffs that are very feminine because of that cherry and that vanilla. You know what I mean? Fantastic purchase. I am so, so happy I got this, guys. So, so happy. And for some reason, I did not get it. By the way, I didn't get it from the um, official site. Both of these I got um, from a shop, online Polish shop called Amicel. I can link it below for you guys if you want, but I'm not sure if they um, ship worldwide, but you can check it. Um, so yeah, I, get a, I got it from them and surprisingly Herod is quite lower in price um, in comparison to the other perfumes from the brand. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon with this guys, over the moon. This is literally... Tobacco Vanille and Lost Cherry and they had a baby and this is Herod. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Okay, guys, and this is the last fragrance in this haul. You can be sure there will be more purchases of mine, but this one is the last one for today and that is Gentle Fluidity Gold by Francis Kurjan. And as you guys probably already know, I am obsessed with their fragrances. I absolutely love the brand. I love Baccarat. I love Oud Satin Mood. And I definitely do love Gentle Fluidity. Again, I didn't test it that much to tell you more about it. I can tell you what I think from a few sprays. But... Uh, first of all, I think this is a very, very, very safe blind buy for a woman. Very safe blind buy. Um, it is sweet, but not too sweet. You definitely get those juniper berries that are in here, but you also definitely get vanillic notes. Very, very beautiful. A little bit floral, a little bit powdery, but all in all, it's a beautiful feminine fragrance with a lot of vanillic notes and those juniper berries that give it a little bit of spice. Very, very nice fragrance, guys. Very, very nice. Mm, so good. It, actually, the thing with Kurjan, uh, it is a little bit weird, but... For some reason with Kurjan, their fragrances are very hard to describe. For example, Baccarat, it's quite hard to describe. I mean, you can describe it as burnt sugary scent, but there's so much more to it. You know, like those saffron, the transparency, etc. Same with that one. Like, I get a little bit of florals, but I get a lot of vanilla, some spiciness, not too much, but a little bit. So, it's very interesting. And now as it's starting to dry down, 
I get some, I get some transparency like Baccarat Rouge has. Like for some reason, that transparency of those um, more feminine fragrances in the line is very prominent for Kurjan. I really, really like it, guys. Beautiful fragrance. I feel like it's very good for daytime, for everyday wear, but also definitely fantastic for dressing up and, you know, looking like a millionaire. So, you know, it is a good two-in-one for everyday and nights out. So I really, really like it. I'm definitely, definitely going to be using it. And that is that, my lovely, lovely, lovely people. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check out Italo because, you know, I, I would never recommend you bad things and I am just personally so obsessed with the brand and I've been obsessed with them for years now and I just finally, finally got it because I've collaborated with the brand um, but I would get it anyway, I was just very, very lucky um, so yeah check them out because their pieces are to die for really really to die for so that is that guys i love you and see you in my next video bye